I just stand still. Yeah. That's it, just keep the mic nice and still. It's just because it's right in front of his face, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> He's buying my microphone, what do I do? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 There's snakes and goannas and crocodiles that are taking over the program. Good morning to you both. I'm quite Good pleased morning. to say you can go that way if you'd like a Herna. That's, that's very gentlemanly of you, Charles. Yeah. <laughs> David, Anthony, good morning. Do you want to slide back here because that crocodile's yeah. a bit close to you there? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yes. don't, don't need the snake over here. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. No, oh my no God. we don't want that. Okay. Is it? Is it's, it it's, it's her friendly? name's Tinkerbell. No, uh, and is Tinkerbell friendly? Really friendly? Is Tinkerbell going to eat that? Oh, my God. Oh, no. I'm oh, my not God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's all right. I'm all right. The reason they're here is that Sydney Zoo has launched a new experience allowing you to get up close and personal, very, very personal, <laughs> with some of the animals and zookeepers, David Kirshner and Anthony Stimson. Oh, Join us from Sydney Tinkerbell's, Zoo now. Tinkerbell's oh. going around. Tink can we just... Can we get Tinkerbell's face? Tinkerbell. <laughs> Tinkerbell. Herno's being brave, um, which is good. Uh, firstly, Tink you promise, are we safe? And I think we've already answered that. Anyway, um, it was great to see you. And when I come to the Sunshine Coast, let me tell you, I'm not going on a snake tour. I'm just going to go straight to the surf club. <laughs> <laughs> good on you guys. Um, thanks for being with us. Really appreciate thanks, it. Um, gee, what a gorgeous day there too, eh? Does the... <laughs> <laughs> he is proper mad with you, Tim. <laughs> you. <laughs> Note the moment that the team fell apart, 8.53.57, yes. when Tim... Oh. Look what you've done. That's really scary. You loved it. I know. It was great. <laughs> it really scared me it. and you weren't oh, coming no. up behind me. I don't want that. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's just yeah. see what These you're These guys are really Oh, Q! <laughs> Back up from that one, brother. Back up. <laughs> she just picked him up. Look, she just picked him up. Oh, <laughs> brother, no, man. Go ahead. I'm not going there. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, God. No, brother, listen. You can do this. Oh, Q, don't touch that. Q, you got his cousin on. You got his cousin on your back. This ain't going to look good, man. This, this is how cool Q is. Q, if you touch that, if you touch you that snake wearing? with a snakeskin jacket, oh, it's going to be all bad. <laughs> No, no, don't touch not that cue. Don't put it around your neck. That's what happened. Snakes are racist. They don't like black. <laughs> 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 I'm not touching that thing. Just oh, relax. Relax. I can see it. I can see it from here. Oh, man. No, it don't be no little touch okay, for me. What about if I touch it? No, I hold your hand. I found it from right here. Cue is tough. Hey, brother, look at that face. Look at his face. Why is face all black like that? Because there's in it. That's why. <laughs> what, Q, you wait too close, Cube. I'm saying you're going to blow the movie. Cube about to die. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, yeah, what is it? Why is he like that? It's a black-headed python. It's a not going to hurt you. It, it says who? That is a bunch of crockets. with that. Look at Cube. Come on, you can do it. Cube, you can do it. Cube, you can do it. Look at Cube. You have lost your mind. You have lost your mind today, Cube. You you better put that snake around your neck, brother. You done blacked out. You done came out to Australia and lost it. Tell us about Bailey. So Bailey is a carpet python, non-venomous, of course. Yep. And you can see that Bailey is quite friendly, likes to wrap around people, give them a cuddle. Would you like to have a hold of Bailey? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so, so the key is to act like a tree. So if you put out your arms like a trunk, that's right. Like a tree. Act like it. I will pop Bailey. Hey, Isa, why don't you here? hold the frog at the same time? <laughs> Oh, God, that's just Hold cruel. The frog. <laughs> that's not what a tree does. Don't make any sudden Either. moves. That's not oh, sorry, that's how a tree behaves. behaves. <laughs> you really you had oh, one. So nice and one job is up. Bailey's be a tree. So no, we've got, we've got we've got Bailey here. We're very good friends. You oh, really panicked then, isn't it? She, <laughs> she, really she likes wrapping herself around. I did, but I kept my cool very shortly after. You did. You got yourself back. Excellent. Wrapping around my wrist. And guys, you can do this too at Sydney Zoo. So no much fun. You can. So <laughs> Bailey lives in our reptile Good. nocturnal house, which is the largest reptile nocturnal house in the world. So you can see lots of creepy crawlies. I don't right. think Just like Bailey. <laughs> Isa, thank you for that. Thank you for that. We'll come back and see if you're okay in the next half hour. This is fluffy, is that right there? Yeah, this is fluffy, a big Burmese python. So one of the largest snake species on the planet. So today is World Snake Day. 
And Dan Rumson from Australian Reptile Park, you've joined us today. Um, thank you so much for bringing along a few of mates. Can't tell you how much we appreciate that. Um, are you serious? Snakes get their own day. Yeah, well, I think everything has its own day these days, but today's World Snake oh. Day and we get to celebrate one of the world's most misunderstood creatures. So, particularly in Australia, they do have a bit of a bad reputation at times and it's very much undeserved. Snakes, they're certainly not manhunters or anything like that, so yeah. Can I just say, the feeling of this slithering along <laughs> your lap is just so weird and just I've, like the whole fight or flight thing. I want to be running out of here a million miles, so I'm really holding it together. <laughs> I but think it's feels... in actually. I don't think going anywhere. <laughs> but it feels so <laughs> insane. Like a good insane though, right? But <laughs> how much of an increase have you seen this year, brother? Oh, look, I, I think it's probably doubled um, with all the, the landfill happening. You know, knocking knocking bush down to, to put houses in. They've got to go somewhere and they're going to houses. Any other reasons? I mean, you've kept the borders closed all year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did a good job. Uh, all oh, week, I should say. Oh. Is that a different um, snake? No, so... Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. We're just watching the tennis. <laughs> I, I wish I could see it. <laughs> Very difficult moment, isn't it? We're doing it for the viewers, mm. Carl. Yeah, we are. You asked us to face our fears. <laughs> and we've already seen Dickie take on a... A roller coaster. Uh, Tim battling his fear of heights. So it is Georgie's turn mm. this morning. Apparently, I said I'd get up close with um, snakes. Deadly snakes. Deadly snakes. Here is a, a similar sort of thing, but yeah. just proportionately oh, hey. larger. Now, believe it or not, this is actually a juvenile snake. This is about oh, three years oh. of age. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you've, have you broken down a few barriers? Well, I've touched it. You feel more start, comfortable, yeah. yeah. Um, do you want to have, a, make your very do you want to have a bit of it on your lap or anything well, like that? Just um, could have you a just feel? Maybe just no, start. No, just, maybe just, just, just start. Just, just, like just, 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 just keep just the snake like away that. from that's that's just a little the bit. Tail. Yeah. <laughs> You're actually doing a fantastic he job because that is amazing. the dangerous end, George. Most, That's the dangerous end. Most people are worried about the teeth, but this one never bites. Yeah. It's got dreadful diarrhea, but it never ever oh, bites. Oh, that's gross. So, <laughs> Georgie, get closer. <laughs> <laughs> Quite beautiful. You can feel the ribs. Uh, uh, lovely animals. And the Burmese python is renowned for being a very passive species in captivity. This is the one that's always used in films and the, the old Tarzan movies, the Jungle Book. All right. uh, every rock and roll film that you've ever seen. You could, you could put it across your shoulders and it certainly won't hurt you at all. If you'd like, I'll help you yeah. a little bit. So or if you just lean forward just a little bit, yeah, see, I we'll wouldn't pop, do you, that. pop you there. Now that that's, okay? that's okay? pretty much that's okay? it. That's the whole I thing. I reckon just keep the head away. Yeah, we'll That'd keep the good. head away. So Trim, yeah, that's actually is uh, that, that's the whole experience. That is the snake around. What the about head? this lady and, here? And, <laughs> yeah. Is that enough? Huh? And oddly enough, we didn't we didn't start with the little one. We've gone straight to the big one. So congratulations. <laughs> that's uh, oh, that's God. incredibly <laughs> well done. And, um, well done. That's all you need to do. So that can actually take a swab of the bite site and even your bloods Careful, to figure out what's bitten you. It really wants. To, it's telling me that it wants to say hi to my co-host. No, you've got shoes like that. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just like this is dangerous one? over here. This is dangerous. Don't don't cross the snakes. Yeah, keep going, my friend. Keep going. Alex, come over here, mate. <laughs> What's the and this is a really scary one that's coming up here. This I think I'm a, actually pretty good at this. This is a king brown, so this, I'm not going anywhere near it. This is the king brown. So, <gasps> at the reptile park, we run the venom program for. Oh my the... god, that one looks really active. It's oh, aggressive. He's all right. he's all right. Whoa! You just grab it by the tail and throw it around. <laughs> Yeah, so we run the venom program, so we milk all the snakes and they use that raw venom to actually make uh, the anti-venom. And this is, yeah, the king brown, so Australia's largest venomous snake. Um, they've also got the biggest venom yield uh, of any venomous snake on record. So Whoa. I'll demonstrate now. Cow. I think it wants we just, to say hi. We basically pin them on this soft foam mattress that's in front of me here. I'll just get into relax a bit here. So straight on there. Oh, you're squashing its face. Behind the back of the head. Hang on. Nice and soft. Shot glass. And, um, Here's the money shot. And go it on. Go straight on. And here. you need that venom. That venom is that venom's important for the anti venom. Critical. Yeah. Absolutely critical. So wow, look at that. Wow, look how much venom's in it. Yeah. So right. It's like a tequila shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except this one would ruin your day pretty quick. <laughs> Ramsey um, joins us now with some of his best mates. G'day, Dan. How are How you, How are you, guys? Good to see you. Well, um, great. How are you? Happy birthday, Kraken. Can I pick up this Yeah, one? yeah. Take us. This is a little blue tongue skink. 
Yeah, it's a little skink. Oh, um, look. A little skink. Um, so tell That's me about joke. the Kraken. I, I watch Na Nature's Brutal sometimes on Instagram, and, and these things are savage. They can and be, they, yeah. And they can really tear apart someone. Layla is, like, sitting there so calm. <laughs> I mean, what the hell, Whoa. woman? Can I touch it too? <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just pat him on the back there. He's fine. He's probably going to try and go under the couch, though, so... No, that's not my thing. <laughs> um, so tell me about them. They're quite incredible creatures, yeah, so aren't they? so they're the world's largest living lizard species, and um, obviously you see some pictures of them. They can be quite brutal, but Kraken's been um, basically around keepers his whole life, and he's trying to get under the couch. So this is quite normal. Like, being around people, he's used to it. So um, he likes us, he likes spending time with his keepers, and he likes going out on his walks, which is... He's had a huge walk today throughout the city. Oh Around God. the city, I bet he attracts a little bit of attention. I wonder if He's trying some... to get at you, Carl. There we yeah. go. There we go. That's better. I wonder if there's some co-hosts underneath. How there. do you know <laughs> he likes it? Oh well, he, when when we open the door for him to come out, he literally. Do you want to grab him, Jet? When we get the open the door and he wants to come out, he literally Ooh. comes flying out Mate. because he, he wants to walk around. And this is his daily exercise, just like Komodos will do in the wild. They They'll can, walk kilometres. But they also in a day. run at like 60 k's an hour. Don't no, they? they can only get to about 14 kilometres an hour. And I'm sure even you could. Don't even. What are you doing? <laughs> Stay away from me. Um, can you, I don't like this stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what else? I'm sure you could outjog them. Not funny, man. There's no doubt about um, it. How long do they live for? Uh, so Kraken's 10 and he can live to approximately 35, maybe 40. Right. So I've got a lot of years funny, looking man. after that big fella, which yes, is good. Yeah. And what are you going to do to celebrate his birthday? Yeah, so he had already started. He had a bit of food. He had a giant little piñata which had all his favourite treats inside. Then we'll get him back to the park. He'll go on his walk. He'll meet a few people. And that's basically the day in the life of a Komodo at the reptile park. I think um, he likes you, Carly. Do they attack? He won't. No, yeah, he right. won't. A wild Komodo, if it was threatened by a person, yeah, maybe they would try and defend themselves, but Kraken's used to people. You can see now that he's outside, he's just pretty relaxed. You can see the gardens on the picture there. He's quite beautiful. He's Stop it. <laughs> Don't <laughs> come anywhere near me. Oh, oh, no, I've seen you type before. Carl, that, <laughs> that is Alex. He's the newsreader. No, no, he's, he's like got something hurt. in his pocket. <laughs> oh, you do, I can see it. <laughs> just not happening. <laughs> Oh, and who are our little friends here? Uh, so you've got something much smaller, uh, and a native skink to Australia called the blue tongue skink. I've got a bearded dragon. And obviously a lot of these animals you can see at the, during our school holiday period at the park. So we've got lots happening. Um, Komodo's my favourite animal, so seeing Kraken's probably a highlight for me. Uh, is Komodo... Um kind of like a prehistoric animal because he sort of looks like Well, it. reptiles really have outlived the dinosaurs. So they, you know, crocodilians and turtles date back 260 million years. So reptiles have been on the planet for a very, very long time. So yes, they look like dinosaurs, but they actually outlived the dinosaurs, which is pretty incredible. It's a shame it's they amazing. didn't become extinct. Oh, Carl, <laughs> that's a bit harsh. No, we're at the top of the food chain. Yeah, but Dan, Us and viruses. These, you, these guys love him. They're yeah. celebrating his birthday. First it was spiders, now it's reptiles. It's everything, basically. <laughs> It's, it's basically, war on everything. <laughs> it's basically clowns, everything at your, your reptile park, animals. which I love visiting. <laughs> I can, I can tell. I've been there a hundred times because oh, yeah, there are things behind cages and stuff. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's just paranoid. <laughs> Very paranoid. <laughs> I've never seen him this scared. <laughs> I, have, I have a lot of time. Well, He's scared of everything. <laughs> he is. Are you right there, Carl? Well, anyway, there is lots happening during the school holidays at the park, so make sure you awesome. come and visit. I'd love to visit. I think the that. kids generally are a little He's bit braver than Carl. Yeah, I reckon aren't the they? kids will be Hello, much mate. braver than Carl right, is today. Will be... Hey there, today fans, Sarah and <laughs> what's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?